Well, good evening, guys. I am back with another night walk and talk video. I enjoyed making my last one so much that I thought I'd make another one tonight. I was going to wait till tomorrow morning to make another video, but, and I probably still will make one then, but um, I had something I thought I'd share with you since I was going to go out and take a walk anyway. Yes, this is dark, but it is very dark out here, and thanks to this nice camera it's actually picking up quite a bit of light with its one inch sensor I'm using the pocket three camera and uh, it's something i'm really enjoying right now and if you're interested in picking up a camera like this for yourself i'll leave a link for it down below they're a little pricey but you know if you like making videos and documenting things or just sharing parts of your life with family or friends or people on social media, then this might be the thing for you. It's really fun. It's a lot of fun. I had a pocket two for several years and I was just bursting at the seams waiting for this to come out. It finally did and I'm thrilled with it. I will say though, last night, the video I made going around the lake, I thought I had my microphone on. Turns out that I did not have it linked up. When I was watching it back, I kept hearing wind noise on it, and I couldn't figure that out because I had, I had this microphone attached. Yeah. So I couldn't figure out what he did wrong, and tonight I figured it out. I, I skipped a step in, in linking the microphone to the camera. Now, it's super easy to do. It's just me. It's just me. This is the, uh, you know, I have a knack for overlooking the smallest things. You know how we men are. We'll have to ask our wives where something is and they'll point to it right in front of our nose and we can't really say anything about it because, I mean, well, we have to admit that it was sitting right there the whole time, but anyway, anyway, check out my beanie. I've, I have forgotten to show you guys this this season. I've been talking about other beanies so much, but this beanie is a Boss Man Brands beanie. It's a knit beanie, so you don't have to worry about whether it's going to fit your head or not like the other ones that I talked about. I mean, most people can wear the other ones I was talking about, but a knit beanie is going to fit everybody. And uh, Boss Man actually makes, makes really good beard products. They make really good beard jelly, um, balms, they have combs, shirts, they have washes, they have everything. Their conditioners are really, really good. Um, they're some of my favorite. But uh, I'll put a link for Boss Man down below if you're, if you're interested in getting uh, a beanie like this. And you can check out their beard products likewise. So I figured tonight I'd, I'd share a quote with you. Um, a lot of you guys know that the inspiration for a lot of my videos is um, things I read, stories I hear, uh, jokes that I got a kick out of that illustrate a point. But a great amount of them come from quotes. And so um, this one, I haven't put a lot of thought into it. I mean, I've thought a lot about it. But as far as, as, as to how, to how to communicate the point, I haven't written down anything. So I'm just gonna speak um, off the top of my head. Hopefully, um, it'll, it'll come out relatable, understandable, in some kind of sequence, but maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, here is the quote. And this is by Maurice Chevalier. He was a French singer and actor. I'd heard the name before, but I had to look it up. I don't know anything really about him other than that, but here's what he said. He said, many a man has fallen in love with a girl in a light so dim he would not have chosen a suit by it. Let me, let me repeat that. Many a man has fallen in love with a girl in a light so dim, he would not have chosen a suit by it. Well, anything I've seen 
I looked up a few clips of Maurice Chevalier. He looked like a very dapper gentleman. And he comes from an era where men dressed respectably. You know what I'm talking about, right? Decades and decades ago. And, you know, it wasn't uncommon for men to wear suits, hats. I've talked about that before when I've talked about hats, you know. You see old pictures of people in the streets. Men and women both wore hats and women wore dresses and they looked like ladies and men wore, always wore some kind of a coat and a hat no matter what kind of shape it was in and they looked respectable, they looked like gentlemen. So you have to take that into account when you're hearing this quote. But he's talking about a, a, how a man falls in love with a, with a girl in a dim light. And what, what I want to say about that tonight is, is here we are in 2024 and you may have love on the brain. I mean, I don't, I'm not searching for it. Um, you know, but if I was a younger man and I wasn't attached to anybody, I would be. I know what it's like. I remember, I'm not, I'm not so old, I can't remember. But you have to be careful. If you're lonely, we tend to settle for people that in, in, if we were in our right mind, we would never think of linking up with. But we act out of desperation, out of loneliness, out of self-pity, out of a misconception that if, if we don't act now, if we don't scoop up the one that's in front of us, we'll, we might not get anybody else. When we do that, we're falling in love in a dim light. Yeah, I, I, thought, this, I thought this quote was very good illustration of how most people approach things. And we know it's true because a lot of, I'd say most relationships seem like they don't last. And they talk about the divorce rate, no matter what the ratio is, even the surviving marriages aren't that good in a lot of cases. Love is funny, but a lot of people will link up with person after person and they haven't quite figured out why they keep choosing the wrong people or why they keep ending up with the same kinds of people. That's because they're, they're grasping around in the dark. And what I mean by in the dark is they're in a place in their mind, in their life, uh, where they do not have clarity and they don't have they don't have, uh, let me turn my phone off here, it's distracting me. They don't have clarity. And they're using other senses to make, they're using senses they wouldn't normally use to make decisions for them. Uh, you can imagine what they are, you know, when, when we, uh, when we first see someone, we're attracted to them largely based on the physical, right? At first, initially. And that's not all bad. That's almost, that's almost necessary in many cases. It's a good thing. It's kind of how God's wired us. We need that. Uh, and in many cases, if people weren't attractive, they weren't physically appetizing, they wouldn't have a hope because they don't have much of a personality or because they're toxic. So, yeah. But, um, but uh, that, is, that is what people do, is that they'll, they grope around in the dark, they're not thinking clearly, and, and it just kind of stays that way for them. In fact, you know, I like, I like the fact that he was saying you wouldn't even, you would have never picked a suit in a light so dim. 
when, when, when he's talking about wearing a suit, he's talking about putting on respectability, putting on dignity, walking around cloak, uh, cloaked in, in uh, self-respect. And what happens is, is that uh, you, you'll get to a point eventually where you'll realize that you made a mistake because you made your decisions in the dark. And, and it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to act quickly. You don't have to act out of desperation. You don't have to make a decision right away. And this is, this is what I tell my kids. You know, don't, you know, I don't believe, see, I'm a Christian, so I believe what the Bible says. I believe what Jesus said about marriage and about sex. And I think sex is between a man and a woman in marriage, uh, but I get that we also make a lot of mistakes, and I have too. I'm, I'm not perfect. I haven't followed that rule myself perfectly. Most of us haven't, but I tell my kids, so God gives us these, God gives us these directives to protect us, and once you get yourself involved physically with somebody, it's really hard to think clearly. Everything becomes muddy and you, you're feeling around in the dark. It feels good. It feels great. But you no longer think clearly. And I'm not saying that you can't once you do. I'm just saying that it changes everything. And this is not a sermon about chastity. It doesn't matter where you're at, what stage of a relationship you're in. Get yourself out of the dark. Take a good look at yourself in the mirror and look at what you're wearing. I don't mean literally. Look at how you're dressed, what you're walking around in, in a sense of the word. If you can just imagine, if you can, if you can piece that together, I think that it'll make a difference to you. We're, we're dressed up, we're dressed up in our own belief system. We're dressed up in our own decisions. We're dressed up in our mistakes also. But you can put on apparel that reflects clarity. You can, you can put on apparel that reflects the ability to make good decisions, wisdom. And it shows, and it shows. So, you know, take a good look at yourself. This, this is about personal accountability. I didn't say take a good look at the other person. Take a good look at yourself because that's where you have to begin. It could be that you've been operating in the, in the dark. And so if you're, if you're thinking about 2024, as, as this is a year that I'm gonna fall in love, I'm gonna find the one, I'm going to get married. I'm going to be happy. Uh, just be aware. Are you walking in light or are you walking in the dark? There's a lot of places you can go with this. A lot of angles you can work. But I don't know. I just saw this, this quote. And I'm hoping that if uh, you can change the way you think about this topic in particular, where, where love is concerned, it could save you tons of problems, a lot of heartache, you know? Um, have you ever had a friend come up to you and express concern about the decision you made in the person that you're dating or the person that you're about to marry? Has that ever happened to you? It has me. And I, I had a friend, I had a previous marriage, and I had a friend right before, you know, right before I got ready to get married to the, my first wife, he pulled me aside and he said, Greg, there's a few things I'm concerned about that I don't think you see. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. He, so he explained it to me. I said, you know what? I never saw that before. I never, ever 
even recognize that. But now that you're pointing it out, it's as clear as day. And even though I knew he was right, and I was, I was just, you know, a word that I like to use, gobsmacked. I, just, you know, I was gobsmacked by the, what he had said because I, I couldn't deny it. But at the same time, I didn't want to quit it either because I felt like I had gone so far. You know, hopefully you have a friend in your life that will point, will point out something to you. If they see you groping around in the dark, they'll say, hey, listen, the light is over this way. I don't think you see what you're doing. Come to the light. I don't know that I've done that for you tonight. I hope I've made you think, okay? So don't fall in love in the dark. I know, I'm, I, it's very dark here. And I'm not falling in love with anybody while I'm out here. I don't know if they see me, they might, but uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Fat chance of that happening. I mean, I think my chances have dwindled quite a bit. And uh, I don't think my wife would be too happy with that. I don't know, maybe she would take uh, me off her hands, but <laughs> no, no. But uh, anyway, so yeah, yeah. Take a good look at yourself. Pay attention to the red flags and, and listen to your friends if they try to bring things to your attention. They mean well. I'm trying to bring you out of the darkness. Okay, I think I've said enough. I don't want to talk it to death. But uh, I hope it's hit home. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you see the description below. And um, comment. Comment on this. And, you know, I, I would venture to say most of you have experienced, especially if you're, if you're around my age, most of you have probably experienced exactly what I'm talking about. So leave your, leave your comments down below and like the video. All right, guys, I, uh, I'm gonna let you go. My arm is getting tired holding this camera. I'm not used to making videos quite like this. So I'm going to cut it off here, hopefully. Hopefully you guys like the video, even though it's dark. I'm walking around my neighborhood. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I didn't, uh, I didn't go downtown or anything tonight, but uh, it's particularly dark out here, but. All right, guys, I hope uh, the analogy has has uh, struck a nerve. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around. Have a good night. Later was. on in the night When the crowds have gone We could talk under moonlight Till dawn